All around the world, people love to eat fish. On average, each person consumes 24 kilograms every year. In fact, the commercial fishing industry pulls in a whopping annual 4 billion US dollars. However, with our global population rapidly approaching 7 billion people, the demand for fish is surpassing the available stock in our oceans. There just aren't enough fish left. Why did this happen? Most researchers believe that this is due to changing environmental conditions and the overfishing of the oceans. Some countries say that whales are eating all the fish. Hmm, well after all, they are pretty big animals. A lot bigger than humans. So, wait a minute, most of the targeted whales don't even typically eat fish. They eat krill, don't they? Not according to Japanese whaling advocates, who by the way claim it is necessary to kill whales in order to study them. These scientific whalers claim they found fish in whale stomachs. Therefore, they must be eating all the fish. Most scientists believe this evidence is highly inconclusive and a much larger ecological study should be conducted without killing whales so that we can find out what is really happening to the fish and what actions we must take. Scientists believe that whales are an important part of the ocean ecology, and even if they do have an impact on fish stocks, aren't their populations very low? Studies would say yes, that whale populations are much lower than they were before commercial whaling. However, if you listen to the scientific whalers, you'd believe that whales are reproducing rapidly and their populations are growing at alarming rates. Researchers say that is unlikely, when the gestation period for pregnant whales is 10 to 13 months, depending on the species, and some only give birth every two or three years. Despite scientific evidence which shows that whales cannot be eating all the fish, advocates for whaling believe we should kill large numbers of whales to protect the fisheries. Now, why would people come to the idea that we should kill whales because they are eating all the fish? Let's take a look at the history of whales and fish. A long time ago in the oceans existed whales and fish. There were huge populations of whales and massive amounts of fish. Whales and fish existed peacefully in the oceans. This was until some humans came along. The humans started taking the fish and began killing the whales. This went on for a long period of time where more and more humans took more fish and killed more whales. The humans made a lot of money, so they kept doing this, until most of the whales were gone. Then the demand for whale oil decreased, and along came the IWC, or International Whaling Commission, who put a stop to commercial whaling in most countries. This allowed the whales to slowly recover. However, more and more humans kept taking more and more fish, until there were hardly any fish left, and only little ones at that. This upset the humans. Hey. Where did all the fish go? The whalers saw an opportunity. The whales are eating all of them. But what can we do about that? <laughs> Kill the whales. Kill the whales. No whales. So they started killing the whales to protect the fish. It is understandable that people are desperate to find immediate solutions to the fisheries problem. However, taking action in the wrong way, like killing whales, can further damage the ecosystem and cause even more harm to the fisheries. This also damages ecotourism industries in places like the Caribbean. Killing of whales is not the answer to the problem and is not the right way to study these animals. Most scientists believe that non-lethal ecological studies should be conducted to find solutions to the fisheries problem. Through extensive studies that look at all levels of the ocean ecosystem, researchers believe they will find answers to properly manage resources and restore life and vitality to our oceans. And then we can bring back the fish and the whales.